everybody. Welcome into Bruins Now. I am your host, Michaela Vernava, and the Bees are back in Boston after a long road trip through Canada. We'll get to recapping the results in case you were too wrapped up in the World Series to watch. But first, guys, we got to talk about something, and that is Patrice Bergeron, David Pasternak, and Brad Marchand's backs. Their backs are going to break from carrying this Bruins team. I'm concerned. I'm really concerned. Together, they have combined for 44 points on the season, with the first line scoring 19 goals and tallying 25 assists. It's insane. Bergeron's 16 points put him in a three-way tie for the most in the NHL, and Pasta's 10 goals have him tied with Austin Matthews as the league's leading goal scorers. In the Bruins' last outing, their 4-1 win over the Senators in Ottawa, Pasternak put on a four-point performance for the fourth time in his career, and he scored two goals. So that win in Ottawa was the only victory of the Bees' Tour de Canada. They did take home a total of four points from the trip. However, as their losses in Edmonton and Vancouver came in overtime, the trip started out with a 5-2 loss in Calgary in regulation. Now, the even bigger losses of the trip came in the form of injuries. Since the Bees embarked, they lost three defensemen to injury. David Backus and Charlie McAvoy both suffered upper body injuries. Cassidy announced at Thursday's morning skate they are feeling better, but he provided no definitive timeline on when they'll return. Kevin Miller was also injured on the trip. He's dealing with a hand issue, and he will be reevaluated in about three weeks. Cassidy's hopeful, Tori Krug, who's been dealing with an ankle injury, is nearing a return. He said Krug still needs some contact in practice before he sees game action, and Cassidy wouldn't definitively rule him out of Saturday's clash with the Canadians, but said it's unlikely he'll return before next week. So after all that traveling, it's good to have the Bees back in town, especially since there really is no place like home for these guys so far this season. The Bruins are a flawless 3-0 on their own ice, while they boast a 5-2-2 record overall. Let's take a look at their upcoming schedule. They won't be home for long as they welcome the Flyers to TD Garden on Thursday night, followed by the Canadians on Saturday, and then it's on the road again for another pair of games, this time for some Southern hospitality. They take on the Hurricanes at Carolina on Halloween Eve, and then travel to Nashville to take on the Preds to kick off November on the 3rd. Now, I've said it once, and I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times. The greatest thing about this incredible sports town is seeing all the teams support each other. And the Bruins have done just that, as the Red Sox have been in the limelight on the big World Series stage. Check out this tweet from the Bees' official account prior to Game 2, saying, If the Red Sox need someone to lay down a bunt tonight, we know a guy who might be able to help. I'd say so after seeing that killer save from Brandon Carlo. The team also posted some Instagram encouragement with this sweet pic saying, time to bring it home. Good luck in the World Series. And Bruce Cassidy even had some words of admiration for the Sox. I was there last night with Cole. Yep, Uh, I think I'm David Price's good luck charm because that's two games I've seen him pitch. He's been very good. I thought he was good. He's done, Alex done a terrific job there. It seems like every movie makes uh, has worked out so good for him, and that's probably why they're up two nothing. Tough road for you know, uh, Dodgers. I, I don't follow them as much as I used to. Being an old Reds fans, I hate them. So I hope the Red Sox stick it to them. When the Bees take the ice Thursday night, they won't be wearing black and gold. They'll be sporting lavender, and it's in celebration of the Hockey Fights Cancer Initiative. Pretty colors, very vibrant. You're never ever going to hear me complaining about pastels. Really reminds me of spring. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Bruins Now. Keep it right here on Nesta.com for all your Bruins news.